Hi, Dougie Murphy and Dougie Sackwell here for this weekend's Fish Report with Stuart Grice. How are you going, Stuart? Very well, Dougie. How are you, mate? Very good. We've got to mention the date. It's the 15th, 16th and 17th of July 2022. That's exactly right. So, we're going to tell you about the weather and the fishing and all around the Gold Coast, what's happening. Yeah. So, offshore, Stuart, we'll start there. Well, we'll start with the weather. The okay. weather looks good if you want to fish inshore, offshore, mm. the dam. It all looks pretty reasonable this weekend. Though. Saturday looks better. Saturday's the day? Saturday's been the day of the last few weeks. So. Saturday at this stage, uh, it's like, I think it's eight knots, yeah, it's ten knots in the morning. Yeah, ten knots most of the day, all yeah, day. It drops out about ten o'clock in, uh, in the morning, then it's like six knots for the rest of the day, including out wide, but there's a bit of swell on the morning. Yep. Yeah, out wide, it's about two and a half metres, so it will drop, but it drops off about a metre by, or 1.2 metres by sort of dark, so in the evening. So, might be a bit of swell in the morning. Maybe, yeah. Hang but on, maybe. Well, you can't bag out the snapper because the you snapper can't. season's closed. Okay, so that closes <laughs> tomorrow, which is the 15th, Friday, and it closes at, actually it closes yeah, tomorrow morning, midnight. I'm That's not quite it. sure of that one, but Stu knows. No. Clo- you can't stuff. catch a snapper, well, you can catch yeah. them, but you can't keep a snapper. Yeah. All of the 15th and on the 15th of... August. Don't get fish until the 16th yeah, of August. Right. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> Easy. And so it also includes pearl perch. It you does. You cannot fish for pearl perch as well. Yep. So, guys, that's why we do our jigging seminar tonight. Yeah. And we're going to do one on snapper fishing, snapper jigging. Well, not snapper jigging, sorry. Take that back. We're doing one, we are doing one on... We're doing one on... Close jigging, yeah. close inshore jigging, but the weekend before the snapper reopens. So, yeah. get ready, get geared up for it, and then go and smack them. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So in the meantime, uh, we're going to be talking about deep dropping for um, Kings tonight in our seminar, but that's yep. tonight. Uh, right now we're talking about you guys fishing. So this weekend I'm going to go probably jigging if I get a chance. Yeah. Um, I'll hit the 50 fathoms northeast and chase Kings and Amberjack that have been up there. They're good size. Um, and spanner crabs have been on big time. Yep. And we've got the spanner crab pots back in. We do. We've got yep. heaps of spanner crab pots. We've got mm. some rope. We've got the floats. We've got everything that you need. Yeah. And we can tell you how to do it. Yep. Or just jump on YouTube and watch our thing, how yep. to do it. Um, but the spank has been really good, 50 metres deep, 48 metres deep, straight east to Q1. Um, okay guys, as Stewie said, you can't really go chase a snap, or you can, but you can't keep them. But yeah. I would be definitely chasing Julie's this weekend, or yep. Cobia, so fish big, yep. in close. We're talking about in close, so if you get a tinny or whatever, and you want to go ashore, um, I'd be fishing on the sort of 20 fathom, 24 fathoms, 18 yep. fathoms, uh, get some live bait, put out three liveies, uh, one bottom, one midwater, one on the top. And just hope a big cobia swims Sit past, <laughs> does a detour off one of the whales and straight onto your bait and yep. rambo. That's it. Or yeah. you could go up to the blocks off Stratty and you could just fish liveys on the bottom and there's been a lot of jewies there in the last couple of weeks. Mm. Last mm. couple of months really, there's been a lot. Mm. So, But on the 17th, I've been smacking through during the day. Too. Yeah, it's yeah. been good. Yeah. So big baits, big fish, um, or go out uh, wider and chase uh, King is an amateur. Yep. Or go out wider again and go deep dropping, which is why we did the deep dropping seminars the last couple of weeks, because that's what's going to come up for the next month. So you, you, your choices are pretty well deep dropping, yep. uh, King is an amateur, King, uh, jigging, uh, jewies and spanners. Yep. That's about it. And if you were deep dropping, Doug, yes. how would you do that? How would I do that? With electric reel, of course. Electric reel, easy, <laughs> yeah. How do you do it, Stuart? Rig wise? Mate, I'd do it conventional because I've got uh, massive arms, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> but rig wise. Okay. So, yeah, while so, Doug's jigging this weekend, I'll be here with a smile on my face making these rigs. <laughs> but, um, so yeah. this is our heavy duty rig. Yeah, this, this one I'm using for blue eye and uh, bass gropers and bar cod. Um, I think it's about 300 main, 250 and about 200 branch. Yeah. This is also UV line as well, Stewie, as you can see. Yeah. Gets the, gets the uh, fish going, guys. Yeah, that's it. And then... Um, we can chase flame snappers. So they are they are called flame snapper, but they're not the species that are on hold at the moment for the next month. So you can go still go chasing flame snapper in the deep. Yep. This type of fella here, we're talking about uh, 350 to five, 600 meters deep. Yep. This fella here, we're talking about um, chasing him in... Um, so 180 plus? Yeah, 180 to... Oh, 200, yeah, to yep. 280. Yep. Seems to be the go. Um, but... That's what we can do at the moment if the weather's good and allows That's us right. to. And we got this, the UV line to make up your own your own lines now, guys. Yeah, so you can see that it kind of glows. Um, yep. It makes a massive difference. You do use a little blue or a UV um, light on your deep drop in, like on your snap, that you snap your um, rigs on with. 
Yep. And uh, that lights up all of the rig. Mm. So it looks really good. So that's the choice offshore this fishing this weekend. Saturday's the day. Sunday's going to be too windy at wide. Might be riding close for a, um, for a uh, cobia or a, a dewy. Yep. Um, comes up about 15 knots, so um, just be careful. The swell drops right off the, I think Sunday's about one metre, so a bit of wind, but less swell. Yep. Uh, otherwise, sad days to go. Okay, we'll now switch to inshore. We're switching inshore. We'll start with the sea ride. Yeah, we went out the other day, Stu. We did, yesterday morning, very mm. early. We mm. did both work yesterday. Not at the shop, but we were working. <laughs> and um, we done had to do some product testing before work, and we caught some blackfish. Mm. I really like chasing blackfish. Doug mm. hasn't chased them for how long, Doug? 30, Four, 30 40 years ago, I was, yeah. I was known as the master of blackfish back That's in right. those days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always used to hate because back in those days, I always used an egg bit or, or a, a bait caster or a, uh, an LB, didn't matter, and I still had fish them all. But, um, <laughs> but <laughs> still, I was surprised when yeah. I went down my egg bit just to piss him off, and he's a little uh, Avon Royals uh, Santa Pin Reel. And uh, Stewie, but lo and behold, had a uh, spin reel. I had a spin reel. Flatted outfit. Oh no, flatted outfit. Oh, actually, yeah. use this one right here. Here's one I prepared earlier. Oh, oh, I had my whiting outfit. You had That's that me. one. That's me. Yeah. Very light and um, just with a little float on it. <clears throat> with his little flag I on the top. I put a little flag on it so I could uh, see it go down. <clears throat> and uh, mate, there's nothing better than seeing that float go down and knowing that you've caught an absolute whopper. One, but, one, um, one thing I did notice about that flag, Stewie, for you, that could help. You didn't outfish me, mate. And I also got the biggest fish, by the way, too. Still, still got it. <laughs> I knew this would happen, and that's why I strategically threw Doug's bigger one in the water before he could take a photo on the brag mat. So that one in the brag mat photo on our Facebook page was actually caught by me, <laughs> Stuart Grice. <laughs> However, I do give it to you, Doug. You got me this yeah. time, but next time, mate, I'm coming out for revenge. I hope there is a next time. I'm still waiting. That's right. <laughs> um, okay, we're getting away okay. from those blackfish. Yeah. And um, oh, sorry, we're full of blackfish. So yeah. North Wall away break. Um, north yep. wall of the seaway, yep. down um, if you're land based and land based, you're going to come with it later, but definitely yep. catch blackfish down on the wall um, between Jabiru and, and uh, Paradise Point. Yep. Um, uh, south wall of the seaway is really good as well, just past Seaway Tower, just to the east. Yep. We used to walk down all the time and smash them. Yeah, and you will get, still get them, I think, off the, um, maybe even around the, the Grand Jetty there. Yeah. They're always around that area. Yeah. Any rock yep. bar, really, yep. this time of year. Um, you do need weed for bait. Weed is cabbage weed. And you can get it on the outside of the seaway on a low tide. You can walk out mm. on the beach and you collect it off the rocks there, and it looks like green lettuce. Mm. Yeah, yeah very thin lettuce. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we used to get that elephant rock at um, down Crumbin years yeah. ago yeah. for driving train the beach. Yeah. Anyhow, um, that's so they're great fun to catch. They're, uh, they're an awesome sport. Very visual for the kids using floats that go under. The kids strike up there on, yeah. and they fight like crazy. They've got fat tails on them, so they fight hard. Yeah, yeah they are. They're good. Okay, um, what else have you seen ways? Taylor, Stuart? Taylor, heaps of Taylor. In the broad water. Um, around, well, all through pretty much. Yep. From, the, from the entrance of the seaway, they're all along the beach as well. They're yep. just, there's so many Taylor at the moment. And the tides this weekend are perfect. 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 Yep. So if you want to get Taylor, and the fish bites, like three fish, so you can't miss. So um, if you want to, we'll talk about the beach at the moment, but yep. for inshore, um, you want run up tide. So yep. if you want to get this time of the afternoon, for us now it's probably on five o'clock. But if you went out around 4.30, quarter to five, anchor up on the main channel heading down towards SeaWorld, um, more or less just out in front of, say, SeaWorld itself, um, on that main channel edge, so not in the channel. Um, on the running tide, you use about a two or three balls, so it's, your bait's just off the bottom, sort of mid-water, and that, and just build up, chop up pillies, just everything, chop up a few, throw them out. Once it starts to get dark, wham, bam, you're on. Yep. And the same thing down Paradise Point Way as well, around Crab Island, um, on Courage's side of Crab Island, it's really good, all the way through to pretty well down to Sovereign, actually, the yep. Browns Inlet, all the way along that main channel down there, Taylor the City. Eastern Channel, yep. we're talking, yeah. Yeah, and the daytime, um, I'd be definitely trying around and casting small little tiny metals, 25 gram, 20 gram, 15 gram. Um, around that sort of Ephraim Island area, or Renovate Marina, yeah. front of the marina there. Yeah, it's look really for good. the birds Power and the Street. bait and the fish yeah. chopping up, and you'll definitely get them. Small little metals like these little mm. fellows here, has been absolutely smacking them. Mm, that's yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, jumping pin area, mate, same deal? Jumping pin, same deal. So uh, yeah. I generally throw into the washes at the jumping pin, so I stay in the main channel, like at the bar, and throw into either the tip of North Stratty or the tip of South Stratty. Yeah. And I'll throw like bigger um, hard bodies, like these MMD Splash Prawns, the really big ones, so it's 120 mil, 21 grams. They would absolutely smack them. Good call. Um, 
something different, natural colour. They're not too fussy. And um, these fish craft little prop baits as well, I reckon they'd absolutely smash them. Taylor like noise. So anything with a lot of rattle and um, chatter to it, mm. they'd be all over it. Another thing too, guys, one of my favourite spots is um, at Tipplers Channel, heading from Tipplers up towards um, the jumping pin area and where the turn off is to go to the bedrooms. It's like a, a reds and yellows and all the beacons are in that one little area and the, the channel kinks. Right in that area there, if you troll sort of um, shallow diving to mid diving lures there yep. um, on the running tide and towards the high tide in the morning at the moment, um, you should definitely get tail there as well. Yeah, yeah there's always birds working there as well. Yep. Uh, yeah, so plenty of flatties around as well, Stu. Yeah, plenty of flatties. Yeah, I fished flatty on fish another day? Tuesday. I flatty yeah. fished just for the morning. I think we got about 18 or 20 or something like that. Mm. No massive ones. The biggest one was about 58. And they're just smashing the little soft plastics. So there's so many little white pillies through the whole system, as I was saying before. Mm. We fished up the pin end. And uh, the little storm tock minnows, they fished really well. Um, anything paddle tail white smacks them. Um, and natural colours? Yeah, natural colour, so that's like an yeah. AU type colour. Um, and it's really good, just with a light jig head. And just throw it up up um, current, or up tide, and just work it back, because the flatty will always sit nose into the tide, yeah. waiting for anything to swim past. Prawns, yeah. on, on, on chasing prawns on Sunday, smash them. Big ones, real big ones. And uh, a good mate gave me a few too. But they'll stick up there. They'll stick? Yeah, they were the clay on and lamb. Yeah. Right. How many did you get, Dougie? 18, enough. 20 litres? Yep, yep, enough. Yep. 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 That's a lot, because if Doug got that many, it must have been thick as thieves, because I would have got that in a cast. But anyway, <laughs> yes, that's one little tick for me. Um, it's not even the, the downstream <laughs> ticks, Drew, but we'll keep going. Okay. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so yep. that's a, a definitely on. I haven't heard much away of mud crabs, guys. Sand crabs, um, there have been a few around, but a little bit quiet. It, the water is like 15 degrees at the moment. In, in the bays, in the, in the broad water and, and uh, up the back block. So it's pretty cold. Yeah, yeah. Um, the flatties are up the back block. So I'll be trying for flatties up around sort of um, Cabbage Tree Point area um, from Rocky Point all the way across to the boat ramp at Cabbage Tree, that big bay there. Both sides would be worth it, but definitely the western side. Um, I'll be definitely trying around Jacob's Well area as well and the back uh, little drain that goes through to, um, uh, what's the name, Eclipso Bay. Give that area a go as yeah, well. Which is um, the top end of the Pimpamai River. Yeah. Yep. And as that tide starts to run out, sort of mid morning when the flatheads start to wake up a bit, uh, where it drops off into the channel, the Jacobswell Channel, I'd be definitely working that edge there, trolling and casting soft plastics. Yeah. Like, like exactly what the top you know, is there. Yep. Um, back in the broad water, there's still squid around, so the squid are getting bigger. They grow yeah. about a centimetre a week, so they're, they're now gone from that to about that yep. <laughs> in the last few weeks. Um, definitely the normal spots, really good tides this weekend as well. You've got high tides sort of eight or nine in the morning. Yep. Um, I'd be trying around, um, definitely in front of Bayview, in front of uh, Labrador, yep. and, uh, and down towards the, the uh, main channel, the opposite the swing pool and um, Southport Pier. Yep. Yeah, give that a go. And yeah. squid jig size, Doug. Yeah, so two, I use about a 3.5 when I'm yep. that sort of size when I'm... Uh, out the back? Out the back, just drifting, it's sort of dragging on the bottom, just checking every now and then there's no weed on the hooks. Yep. And they just load up themselves. And then for um, just general um, casting, I'm using about a 2.5 in this style. So this is a Japanese brand. These ones are Haybusa. Uh, they're quite good. Um, but yeah, give the squid a go. Good, great fun for the kids as well. And great, yep. great to eat as well. Yep. Um, that's probably about it in the broad water. Um, if you jump across to the beach, it has been going off. It's been really, really, really good yeah, on the tail, tailor scene. Tailor scene, yeah. Yep. Last few afternoons, uh, Stu, you heard yeah. some good reports? Heaps of reports. Mm. Um, just basically any gutter from, say, Burley to the sand palm jetties had tailor in it. They've all been really good. But what's the best gutter is out the front of? I think I'm going to give it away because yeah. some of the customers might stab yeah. us in the eyes. But That's right. <laughs> Pop in the store and we'll tell you the best gutter <laughs> <laughs> But just, just nah, look for a good, there's, there's really good gutters, guys. Like, yeah. There's a couple of gutters on the beach. So the beach is, is flat and then all of a sudden there's like two or three Olympic washout. pools have been dug out and, yeah. and it's just this like massive big gutter just sitting there. Yeah. And because the swell's reasonably small, it was big on the weekend, early in the week, but it's small now. Um, it's just full of tail and the prime time is four o'clock in the afternoon. Yep. 
And the guys, it's funny, guys are using like, you know, six to 80 gram lures like that and absolutely smashing it. And then there's guys in those seven foot spin rods, like your flatty rods yep. and spinning. 25 grammers. And get the same distance. Yep. And I use like 15 or 12 or 20, 10 pound braid and absolutely having a blinder. Yeah. And it's great really fun. really good fun. Yeah. And the yeah. water, and that, when you find those little um, gutters, like I saw the one guy today, he said, instead of casting out into the, into the main gutter, he actually could see them working. He said, you see him swimming in the gutter, in the shallow gutter. Yep. So he cast down along the gutter, yep. <laughs> towards the other points on the beach and just spin it through there and, just, and the lighter ones have just yeah. absolutely had a great Smack time. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's really good. It's good to see. Yeah, great yeah. to see. So obviously beach fishing guys, if you want to get down there and, and catch some on uh, baits too, um, definitely worth a go. So, this, the, and the guys that are fishing their baits, they smack that too easy. Yeah. So yeah. definitely worth a go um, anywhere around um, sort of, yeah, surface focus to uh, back to sea world. That's the area. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, There's been well. a few like good ones from say Phillip Park to the pump and jetty as well. It's yeah, been that's a pretty right. good. That's a good holes here too holes. at the moment. Yeah. yeah, so give that a go, guy. If you're land based as well, so that's one land based spot we're definitely going to use. Um, other one be flatties. I've been to a few customers getting some really good flatties at the front of Runner Bay canals and yep. down all the way down to um, sort of Solid Island. So on the foreshore down there. The usual, um, there's plenty of whiting in those in that sort of gutter formation too, guys, during the day. If you want to use beach worms or Yabbies and go down and fish the shallow at low tide, sort of depth of about a metre deep at low tide. Yep. And fish at about a two ball sinker, cast up current, let it come down, always cast south because the current always goes north. And then let it cut, sweep through into the gutter there. And um, plenty of good whining as well. And if you dart, yeah. you love darts too. That's it, love them. Oh, that's yep. right. Uh, and the freshwater scenes to it? Uh, I haven't heard of a great deal. Bass Electric was on last week at Hins, and I think a few guys caught a fair few. I didn't actually check the results. But um, most of the fish were definitely deep. Mm. Yep. So fish yeah. deep, big di like um, deep dive in little minnows, that type of thing. Rolling big, um, small plastics, big weight down deep, and that's been catch them. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So very good. Yeah. Get up there and give it a go if you got, got a little boat or kayak or something like that. Um, so guys, in the next couple of weeks um, after we do the seminar tonight on uh, on deep jigging, uh, we're going to have a break for a couple of weeks. Yep from seminars, <laughs> we're not going to break for doing this though, we'll still keep telling you what's going on. Um, and then we're leading up to the, to the uh, before the snap reopening, we're going to do a talk on uh, fishing under 100 metres with uh, jigs yep. for uh, snapper and jillies and everything. In the interim though, we're going to quickly test uh, how to use a new jig coming out, which is a bucktail jig. And a couple of our customers have been using their pretty good fish shows and they've been smacking the jewies on them and snapper as well. So we'll give those a shot. We'll talk about those over the next week or two. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Stuart, um, that's about it. Letting us that's out about time, it, mate. Mate. I no. think that's about it. Um, it's a good weekend. Hopefully yep. everyone can get out there and give it a red hot crack. And if you want to know more about our Blackfish seminar, um, watch uh, our YouTube, seminar. our Blackfish, sorry, not seminar, <laughs> our Blackfish uh, session the other day with Stuart and me, thinking about fish. Um, just watch the um, upcoming YouTube <laughs> Um, experience on how to catch blackfish will teach you all about it and welcome to the top of the shop and anything will help you out it's Dougie and Stuart for Dougie's Tackle World here on the Gold Coast at number 8 Centerview Drive Bigger Waters and don't forget to follow our YouTube page and Instagram page and tell your mates thank you guys thanks Bye.